Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a technology explorer. In this video, we will demystify JWK and JWKs. So what exactly is JWK? So if we see RFC 7517, it states JWK is a JSON data structure that is used to describe a cryptographic key. Okay. So knowingly and unknowingly, we have used JWKs in our implementations, right? Whether you are using OAuth 2, OIDC. Now, if you have signed your JWT, right? To validate that JWT, whether it is tempered or not, the client can validate using a JWK. I will show you the demo via key clock where we will generate a token and then we will see that JWT in a JWT.io and then we will see what are the JWKs endpoints that are exposed by key clock. Okay, so you can see on the screen that I have opened my key clock, right? It's in the realm settings. Now you can see under general, we have endpoints, open ID endpoint configuration. So if you open it, right? So you have the provider configuration. This is the OIDC provider configuration of key clock. And here you can see JWKS URL, this one. So if you click on this one, yeah. So this JWKS is an array of your JWK. So this is one JWK and this one is the another JWK. So there are two keys present in my JWKs. One with the key ID, this one, and another with key ID, this one. Okay, so what JW contains, like it has a KID, K which is key ID. So this is used to uniquely identify the key among the keys. Okay, and we have another thing called KTY. This is key type. It can be RSA, EC for elliptic curves. And we have one parameter for ALG that is algorithm, which states what is the algorithm RS256 here it is. Then use is another factor which specify whether this is used, this key will be used for signature or encryption. And this is your modulus. And again, this is certificate chain X5C, X5T has S256, it's your uh, fingerprint, certificate thumbprint, you can say. So now let's go to this, like here I'm generating a key clock token, okay. Yeah, so we got this token. I will copy this one. So let's go to JWT.io. And so if we see this uh, JWT uh, is signed using algorithm RS256 and key, key ID is this one. So now when client is validating this token, JWT token, JWT token, so they will search for this key ID among the key set or JWKS. So for example, it is starting with E underscore and end, ending with G O I. So let's get back to our uh, JW case, right? So here we can see the key is starting. This key ID is matching with the key ID that was present in this token. This you can see. So that is how exactly this JW case is used. Now the, the benefit of which this JW case is like instead of uh, like giving this keys manually, right? So we can use uh, we can use this JWKS endpoint, which is a public facing endpoint, and this can be used for rotation of the keys. Okay, so there is no uh, tight coupling with the clients. Okay, so client can refer to this uh, public endpoint, which is a JWKS endpoint, and they can dynamically they can choose the keys which are used for validating. And this key ID will help them. Key ID along with algorithm, along with use, will validate the signature of the JWT. So, like if we see, we can take this key, okay. And right now, if I just remove it, so it will say invalid signature. Let's put our key here. Yeah, signature is verified. That means this is the right key. Okay, so this is all about JWK and JWKs. If you have any queries, you can put down in the comments and I will try to get back to you. And if you need more information, then also you can put it in the comments.
सो इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक्स